So today I'm going to be showing you a series of exercises you can do using a TheraBand. Now if you have a TheraBand at home, go ahead and grab it and let's get started. Before we get started with these uh, exercises, we just want to go over a few terms with you, like the anchor hand. Basically the anchor hand is the hand that's not being worked at this time. And the hand that is working is just your working hand. So for example, I'm doing a tricep uh, push down or tricep extension. The hand that's not moving like so, that's my anchor. And the hand that's doing all the work, you guessed it, it's my working hand. Now if you want to add some more resistance or make this a little bit more challenging for you, I just bring my working hand closer to my anchor hand. And you can feel, and you would feel that added resistance. And you feel how much more challenging that is. All right, with that being said and that being explained, let's get started. So the first exercise that we're going to be doing is a shoulder abduction exercise. All we're doing really, is you want to take the TheraBand here, take it, grab it with both ends, and all we're doing is literally pulling it apart. So from chest level or lower, that's, what, that's the positioning of your band. Don't go over your chest, just chest level or to your stomach, that's it. And all you're doing, you're just pulling as far as you can. We're gonna do this for two sets of 10 repetitions. Now, if you can't go all the way like me, if you can only go about right here, that's okay. And if you can't get the band as high up like me, if you can only get it to right here and pull, that's fine too. We're just doing this in a pain-free motion. That's all we're doing. And don't forget, do this in a nice and controlled manner. Don't go fast. And if you get to right here, don't just let the band go. Nice and controlled all the way out and all the way back in. And that is your shoulder horizontal abduction. Next exercise we're going to be doing is seated shoulder diagonals. So all we're going to be doing, same concept, we're going to get into our starting position here, about chest level, if you're able to. And instead of just going straight like this, we're going to have one hand, in particular this right hand here, up a little bit, and all we're going to be doing is pulling apart like this. And it's going to be, again, two sets of 12. Now, you can do two sets of 12 on each arm, like so, or if you want, you can alternate. So one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And again, do it in a pain-free range, nice and controlled, all the way up, all the way down. You're not going crazy with it. If you can't go this high up or you can't go this far when pulling the band apart, you can only go about right here, that's okay. We just want you guys to do this in a pain-free motion. All right, and that is your seated shoulder dag. All right, the next shoulder exercise with the elastic bands that we're doing is shoulder extension. So what I have here, as you can see, I have the band wrapped around my hand, not too tight, just enough to where it's secure on my hand here. Now I'm not going to go with a straight arm all the way up like this. I can have it down to about belly button level. And I'm going to have this arm grab onto the elastic band here with a straight, with a straight arm. And all I'm going to be doing is just go back like so. So as you can see, this left arm I have here with the band wrapped around my hand is an anchor point, while my right arm here is acting as the shoulder being used for the workout. And all I'm doing is two sets of 10 repetitions, just like all the others. And again, if you can't go all the way back like this. If you only get to about right here, it's okay. It's a pain-free motion we want you guys to do. 
And once I'm done there, I would switch it up, anchor this, grab on, straight arm, and continue. And do two sets of 10 on this arm. It's a nice and controlled motion. Now I have a chair in front of me and a chair behind me. That's just in case you guys need it. In case you guys need to hold on to something during the exercise or you feel tired, you can sit down and then you can get back up and continue on. That is your shoulder extension. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna be doing is a seated bicep curl. So all I'm gonna be doing here is I have both my hands wrapped with the elastic band. Now I'm gonna extend this arm out, palm up, and I'm gonna bring this hand out to match it. Now this hand is gonna be acting as an anchor on the opposite leg. And all I'm gonna be doing now with my arm uh, nice and long, just curl up. Nice and easy, all the way up, all the way down. And I'm gonna be doing this for two sets of 10 for each arm. So once I'm done doing 10 reps on this arm, I'm basically gonna switch. And then basically do the same thing on the other. Yeah, it's a nice and controlled motion all the way up, all the way down. Don't forget to breathe. If you need to take a break, do it. Shake your arms out, get some water if you need to, and then hop right back in. Remember, two sets of 10, each arm. And that is your seated bicep curl. The next exercise we're gonna be doing is the elastic band tricep extension. So I have my anchor hand here. So I have the band wrapped around my hand, not too tight again, just nice and comfortable like where it's nice and secure. I'm gonna place it on the opposite shoulder. Now I'm gonna bring the hand that I'm gonna be using to do the, this particular exercise to about right here. So it's kind of closer to my anchor hand. And then all I'm gonna be doing is just pressing down until my arm is nice and straight. Now you're gonna be doing this for two sets of 10 reps for each arm. So once I'm done doing one set of 10 on one arm, I would simply switch up and do it on the other arm, like so. Now as I'm doing this on the chair, I'm basically at the edge of the chair so the armrests don't get in the way. And if you can't go all the way down, for this exercise, you only go to about right here. You can't lock out, that's okay. We just want you guys to do this in a pain-free motion. And it's nice and controlled. All the way down, all the way up, nice and controlled. You're not going all the way down nice and easy and just letting the thing go back up on its own. Again, two sets of 10 for each arm. And that is your seated tricep extension. All right guys, so the next exercise I got here is basically banded marching. Now, as you can see here, I have the uh, band wrapped around my thighs here, but you don't have to tie it in a knot or anything. I simply have it like this. I basically fed the band underneath my legs, got up to about my mid thigh level. I crossed these two ends like so, and basically hold it on to each end as tight as I can on the outside of the chair. And all I'm gonna do now is just march, like so. And I'm gonna be doing this for two sets of 10 reps on each leg. So it's basically one, one, two, two, three, three, and so on and so forth. That's gonna be for two sets, all right? Now again, I want you guys going in a pain-free zone so if you can't go as high as I can like this you can only get to about right here that's okay we want you guys to do this as pain-free as possible 
Nice and controlled motion as well. Keep that fan tight. And that is your seat in marching. All right, everybody. So this exercise is basically the uh, banded uh, calf exercise. All we're doing here is I'm gonna have one leg extended out. I'm gonna have the band not wrapped around my foot, but I'm just gonna have it rest underneath, right? So I'm gonna pull it to about right here. And all I'm doing is like doing a standing calf raise. You're just gonna point your toe down and out. Your heels on the ground. You're just doing this for two sets, 10 for each leg. There's really not much to this exercise. But just remember to do this in a nice and controlled fashion. Just be careful with the elastic band. You don't want this placed too high up on your foot, otherwise it might slip, hit you in the face. No one wants that for sure. All right, just so gonna switch. Again, once you're done on one end, you're gonna take it, place this underneath your foot like so, extend your knee, uh, your leg out, excuse me, and then just point your toes down. You're gonna do this for two sets of 10, each leg. And there you go, guys.